We want to begin with an Atlanta City Councilman who says activists should not be able to make decisions that rest solely with elected officials. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 4. I'm Eric Perry in for Christine Spiro. Michael Bond commented on Fulton County project for jail improvements that did not win the backing of county officials. Now the measure drew defund the police protesters who waged a campaign against expanding the jail. Fox 5's Morse Diggs is live outside the facility with reactions. Good afternoon, Morse. Good afternoon. Here is what we're looking at. A decision that happened three years ago that has a significant impact going forward. The question, did county leaders make an independent decision about jail expansion or were they swayed by activists who appear to oppose any funding going toward law enforcement? There will be further demonstrations outside of our building. It was the summer of 2020 that Fulton Chairman Rob Pitts talked about. Unrest in Atlanta and around the nation over police citizen encounters. The Fulton jail was on the agenda at a meeting, a project to expand medical housing, which would produce more beds. But the consideration of that item got intertwined with the anti-law enforcement fervor of that summer. I don't see how in the midst of all of this, even as we acknowledge the need to address this ongoing violence, that we could possibly put more money into a system that supports that violence. The jail measure would not get the green light. The only commissioner to vote for it called the decision a mistake. If those additional beds are used to relieve some of the overcrowding from inmates, arrestees um, who um, are ill from other other health problems. He is correct in his assessment. It had the uh, facility been constructed, if you had a medical unit, you might have prevented, you know, the death of the young man who had mental issues, who was attacked by bed bugs. Atlanta Councilman Michael Bond and other city officials have their own 2023 hot button issue that has angered activists, the building of an APD training center. The councilman endured threats, but did not waver. You have to try to listen to all citizens, but you also have to keep your oath of office to say, what is my responsibility? Why was I elected by some or all of these same citizens? What is my duty? Now, some of those same county commissioners are on the board today, and they have indicated that they will support building a new jail. But there are tough votes still to come. They have to figure out how to fund it at more than $1 billion. From Northwest Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Morse, thanks so much.